Right, good morning everybody. Uh, here they am. Um, I'm on the remains of the tip at Abavan. Uh, 50 years ago today, um, this tip slid down into the valley down there. As you can see, it's a beautiful morning in the, in the valleys. Uh, a vast difference to what it was 50 years ago, on the 21st of October 1966. Um, it was misty, uh, rain, fog. This area in particular was shrouded in fog. Um, I'm standing at this moment on the remains of the tip, uh, looking down into the valley, in virtue of the route that the tip took. As you can see, the A470 there uh, is buzzing with activity. Um, this uh, main road now dissects the, where the tip was, and it's the main uh, route from Cardiff to Merthyr. Merthyr Tidwell is about five miles north from here. Um, it was actually probably the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution. Um, it's so sad, over to my left, as you look, is the, the cemetery where the little kids and the other people who died in this disaster are buried. Uh, just down virtually straight ahead was the route of the tip slide. Um, as you can see it's a beautiful morning up here in the valleys but um, it's such a sad uh, memory for me. I was born in Mountain Ash about a mile and a half from where I'm standing now in the next valley and that morning I was getting ready to go to school last day of term pretty excited but the weather was dreadful I can remember it like it was yesterday um, got to school on normal time had morning assembly morning prayers we all sat around in the assembly hall Isaac Watts was the headmaster he always read a, a reading and a prayer uh, we headed back towards our classrooms uh, we sat down, but it wasn't a normal start of the day because there was a group of teachers gathered in the front of the room, um, just talking. They were talking in Welsh because uh, in the valleys all the teachers talk in Welsh if they do want the kids to hear any private conversations. There was obviously something very, very wrong that morning. Uh, within the hour, we were all sent home. Uh, what I noticed as I walked up towards my grand's house in 20 Gladstone Street, Mountain Ash, that there's a lot of people in doorways talking, looking very worried. As I got into the kitchen, uh, the radio was on, my grand and grandfather listening to it and telling me there'd been a major disaster over in the next valley, which was the Aberfan disaster. So uh, I got a lot of personal memories for this because my father was, uh, you know, come over from work early to come over here to dig, dig the kids out. So there's a lot of personal memories for me. So um, I thought I had to turn up here today to show my respects to the people lost in Aberfan and all those people that are still suffering to this day. So um, a sad day, but life does go on. As you can see, the traffic is really busy, people going to work, but life goes on, but we should never forget those little kids who were the same age as me, 8, 9, 10, 11. It could easily have been me because, um, you know, the way, way life worked out, none of us would have existed without the coal mines because all our distant relations moved into Wales to mine coal. And it could have been us, it could have easily been us, and that's the way I look at it. And it is so sad, but this must always be remembered and never forgotten.